Hey everybody, I'm back this week, and you know what? I decided to do another pumpkin recipe. Why not? And this one's going to be sweet. For those of you that said they wanted a little bit sweeter one, the last time I did the savory pumpkin muffins. So for you this week, we're going to do a pumpkin carrot muffin. I know you're like, carrot? No, trust me, it's going to be sweet. We've got chocolate chips. Okay, you're going to start out with your usual mixing bowl. And you're going to get a third, you find my third of a cup of brown sugar. As you can tell, if there's a third of a cup of brown sugar, it's going to be sweet. Okay. Sit this behind us. I set some of my bigger stuff behind me because we're still kind of all messy. You can see the large box of tomatoes off to the side from doing tomatoes and just canning a bunch. Okay, brown sugar. Now you need a fourth of a cup of oil. I have two containers here because I don't have much left in this one. So I'm gonna use up that one. A fourth of a cup of oil. Okay, what do we got next? One eggy. Just crack that right on in there. And if you want to take a couple seconds here to mix this up before you get put any more stuff in, you can go right on ahead. Okay, now you're going to get a half of a cup, spoon, a pumpkin puree. Find your half a cup measuring cup. Get that all stirred up there. So I'm going to make sure I got just a half a cup. Tapping it on the counter, like I've probably showed you before, helps get air bubbles out. Helps you get more of the right amount. Okay, now, let's put in our half a cup. That's why we keep our spoon of the pumpkin puree. Not pumpkin pie filling, pumpkin puree. You're going to put in the spices you want. You don't need them already in there. Okay, so set that off to the side. You can put that back in the fridge with the covering to do one of my other pumpkin recipes. Okay, now we're going to add another half a cup. So get your half a cup back of grated carrot. Now you could grate your own carrot. You could buy shredded carrot from the store, which is what I did. I had grated carrot left over from making soup. I think I told you about the soup last week. Can't remember if I did or not. But stir in your carrot and your pumpkin puree. You got a nice wet mixture going there, but don't worry, you're going to be adding more dry ingredients here real soon. Okay. Now you want to get three fourths of a cup of flour. Grab your flour. Stirred in here. Don't get too wild with the stirring, or you're gonna be like me and get flour all over the place. Ah. Got a nice batter going there. Okay, now you want three fourths of a teaspoon of baking powder. And a one. And a two. And a three-fourth using your fourth a teaspoon scoop. Okay. Now you want a half of a teaspoon of baking soda. 
So our nice little muffin slash loaves, because yes, I'm calling them muffins like I did last time, but yes, I'm losing using my loaf pan again because I, like I said, I don't quite have a muffin pan yet. Okay, dash of cinnamon. Now you could measure out cinnamon if you want, but I just put a dash in because I'm a not a overly huge cinnamon fan. A little bit goes a long way for me. So you could cinnamon it to taste. Cinnamon it to taste. Cinnamon it to taste. Now, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Just help it make up. Okay. Now, for the fun, fun part, a fourth a cup of chocolate chips. Any kind of chocolate chips you want. I've got milk chocolate here because that was the first bag I grabbed out of my cupboard. There we go. Oh, look. It was just the rest of the bag. Oop, dropped a chocolatey chip. Now, this is the part where you could also put in a fourth a cup of raisins if you wanted to have it a more a carrot raisin chocolate chip taste. I'm not going to, mostly because I don't have any in the cupboard. But I like raisins, so that would be completely up to you if you wanted to do that. Okay, now you have your lovely little pumpkin chocolate carrot batter. Wild, I know. Okay, so get your... This is the part where if you're using a muffin pan, you get your muffin pan and you put your little papers in, fill them three-fourths full, and then you can put it in the microwave. Me? I'm going to do the same thing with my loaf pan. But if you're using a loaf pan like me, remember, silicone or ceramic, no metal. Spray out some of the little loafies. We don't want any stickage. And start. Fill in your little loafs. Back to where it belongs. Put them in their own individual little loaf areas. Okay, I'm gonna switch out my fork for my spoon so I can get all my batter. Last time for my savory pumpkin ones, it made Gonna stretch it to seven. Yep. A little bit of batter left, so I'll tap it on top of some of these other ones. Remember, not more than three fourths full, because we do not want over bakeage. Okay. We'll set our mixing bowl aside, and this is where we take our muffin or our loaf pan. on the counter. Like I said, it helps get the air bubbles out. Let things bake more evenly. Okay, pop this in the microwave for two minutes. Two minutes. I'm sorry, I know I'm having trouble with this new camera. I think it's actually sliding down. I love my new camera. I really do love my new camera, but the learning its little more advanced <laughs> technology, well, my new phone technically, learning its little bit more advanced technology has been tricky. Because I'm not always the most advanced technology type of person. My ingredients put away here. Boy, did we use the stuff today? I will go soak all my tools in the sink. There 
30 seconds left till we check it. Oh, and if you were wondering about my really adorable shirt this week, it's actually a rip, no, shirt punch. Oh, oh, well, I'm going to sound terrible here. I get a lot of t-shirts and sometimes it's hard to remember where I get them from. This is a uh, shirt punch. One of my grab bag specials. I haven't had good luck with my grab bags lately. All I can say is some of my friends are getting really good Christmas presents. Okay, we'll check on these and see where they're at. Oh, you can see we are still gooey, but we're going to do them another minute because they are baking up nicely. And they smell oh so sweet. Next week, I'm going to find something really fantastic to you guys, do for you guys because next week, my birthday episode. You remember last year I did my microwave banana boats because it was all about indulging in what I like, which is chocolates, bananas, marshmallows. It was great. Sorry, answering some friends on Facebook. A few of us are discussing the big news that I saw last night of Matt Smith being cast in Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies, which I don't mind, but is Mr. Collins really? People, come on. Oh, let me go get a toothpick. I love this book. I love Pride, and Prejudice, and Zombies. Don't get me wrong, but Mr. Collins is supposed to be fat, out of shape, and ugly. I think I'm going to be doing these another minute. You remember our trick from last week? We put it down in and, oh, if you bring it up and it's clean, you're done. If you bring it up and there's goo on it, like batter like this, back in the microwave for another minute. Yeah, I know, it's been the big topic. <laughs> okay, clean off my toothpick. So I'll use it again here in a minute. Sorry if I seem distracted, but like I said, that whole big topic. Okay, now check this in a couple more seconds. One came out clean. That one I need to do another minute, but I will do some of these another minute right now. Sorry for taking so long, but and again, this is all going to be like how full you fill yours. And if you use a muffin versus a loaf pan, um, mine's taking longer because I filled them a little too full, and it's a loaf pan. Um, like I said, you're going to do yours two minutes and then do it in one minute increments um, using your toothpick to check it. these again here in a minute. Okay. Well, now 
don't these just look yummy 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 mm, perfect i'm gonna pop one out and show it to you here yours might have been done a little bit ago mine are done now hot 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 <laughs> let me get a fork a clean fork because like i said these are one of the ones you're probably going to want to let set a while because when they cool down see look at that you got the perfect little steaming hot. You got your chocolate, you got your carrot, you got your pumpkin, your cinnamon. You've got your perfect little pumpkin carrot muffin slash loaf. I'll see you guys next week with something fantastic. Mm. I are really good.